Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this is the third video of our series of migrate across SP tenant using Power Automate. No developer, no PowerShell, no PNP scripts. So in our previous two videos, we have seen like how to move the files and SharePoint items to another tenant in a simple way of creating connections in both into the source tenant and as well as in uh, destination tenant and then move the files using flow. And in the next session we saw that how we can modify the date and modify by fields post migration to the original values not saying that it modified few seconds ago by the flow user who actually run the flow so this is third video where i would be explaining you how you can export and import multiple sharepoint lists uh, with uh, definitions because there's this scenario where like it's not you may want to move uh, 10 12 lists and want to automate that stuff instead of uh, creating columns manually into the destination and then move our data after that so there's a simple step a simple workflow using the export scripts of sharepoint where we can export the list definition uh, from using power automate from the source sharepoint site and then import using that script into the destination site so it will create the list automatically and post that you can do a migration of the content based on the mapping. So let's jump on it. So I'm going to get to my power to make and we'll just, just start creating one of the uh, simple instant cloud flow with a manual trigger. And I will be taking example of exporting my this financial detail list which is having multiple columns automate the export and import from source uh, tenant to the destination tenant so this is my destination tenant where this list should start appearing over here post the successful power automate run so let's go back to our power automate and we'll create we'll start from doing a new step and we'll start creating the step as send http request to sharepoint so i'll just open my notepad and tell you like what actual endpoint we are going to hit for executing the template scripts so this is api microsoft sharepoint utilities web template extension site script utility execute template script so this is while importing and if i scroll up you will find that sp utilities web template extension will get site script from list so this is the export of the particular list into some JSON schema and then thereafter we will interpret that schema uh, the entire JSON structure into actions and then we'll try to create have them included as part of body for this execute template script action so let's start one by one so it's export step right now which we are doing so I'll just copy this endpoint and We'll just start using send HTTP act request to SharePoint. And this is so my source uh, tenant. So the connection should actually uh, look for my this existing connection, which is my into the source tenant. And I will pick my site as the site from which I wish to do a export with the post action and in URI we'll paste that URI which we copied I'll paste this information into the description so that you can directly include directly uh, start adding this rather than typing into the headers I'll just put uh, convert that to JSON object and we'll copy that from my notepad is nothing but content type is application JSON or data web browse. I'll just paste it and in the body use the list URL which we wish to export so I will just copy this entire body and you can see it it is constructed of list URL and this list URL is absolute URL of that list which we wish to export so this will give us the export entire JSON so I'll just save and do a test run so that we can see like what JSON output we are getting on export and then we will interpret that JSON for going forward subsequent steps so this send HTTP request is success and we'll just go into the body so in body output you can see like we got this site 
get site script from list and if I copy it and paste it in notepad you will see it's a <coughs> it's a stringified JSON which is uh, the schema first of all is schema but this of not of much of for our use this this second part which is action is actually the action the verb or the action says that create SP list list name so this is a list name so we have to rename this while creating so that this should the list the name the new imported list should not be created with a weird name so we'll rename it no worries and this entire schema this entire JSON is having all the fields the views and the property or binding like whether we should allow it to uh, display into the uh, left navigation or not so this is the entire action we are going to work with so first of all as it's not a well readable JSON so we have to convert into a JSON which we can actually in turn leverage while creating or importing the list so let's go to the next step and I'll just minimize it and we will use compose action just to take the input from this previous body so it does nothing but uh, if you wish to read it so it will give you a well structured way of reading it next step is to parse this JSON so we are again using the output of previous step and generate from sample so for that just open your flow the last run of your flow and copy the output of it so that we can generate that from sample I'll just go to my flow and the last run with simple uh, JSON unstructured JSON so I'll just open the last run for the same flow and we'll copy the output so that we can use that as a sample so this output we'll just copy and say generate from sample paste it done so it will just give the I mean it will define the schema for it and in the next step when we run it so we'll get a JSON objects out of it so I just close the other window which we just opened and save the this one now in next step I'll add one more compose action just to read the get the past output from our previous parse JSON step of get site script from list so this will give me this only the uh, schema which we copied so you remember like we have this so this will give me this JSON only so this part I am interested into and in next step I'll again parse this output of this one so that I can extract the action out of it so I'll just save it and runs run it again so that we can get a sample body out of it for which we can use to create or parse JSON again So it ran and we are going to copy this entire output so that we can again do a parsing to extract the action so now it's well formatted readable uh, JSON which we can see like it's having verb to create list list color add link navigation all the attributes related to list so now we'll just copy it again because we are going to use this parse JSON as a next step so I'll just say parse JSON and in this parse JSON, I'll use the output from my this compose tool and generate from sample as from the last run I copied it. So I'll just say generate from this sample. So now I get the object of in the next step, I'll get the object direct object of action. So I'll just say next step, and in next step, we are going to work directly on send HTTP action, and this time we'll be making a request to our destination tenant. I'll just pick that send STP request to SharePoint and this time I'll just change the connection to my other tenant or the destination site which is for this connection I load up this site do a post and this time in URI I'll just again refer my notepad for the endpoint and this part is import part in the import we are going to use the endpoint as site script execute template site script I'm just going to copy it paste it and in the headers is again the normal JSON headers application JSON 
and I'll just convert that to JSON object, paste it. And in the body, we are going to write a body so that we can able to execute the script with the actions. So this is the script in the body we, we would be writing a script and this action. So action is again is a script uh, from which we get from the previous step. But before that, we have to actually uh, do uh, some string operations on it so that we can rename the list as well as set the property of navigation. So over here, if you see, I have this set property of my parse JSON body action zero to list name. So this list name, I, I on the run, I wish to change the list name of my newly created list to financial finance list and then add the set property of add navigation to true so that it can start appearing in the navigation. So these are required properties which if which are required. So so we cannot sk skip this binding of adding add nav uh, link navigation. And more on it, we have to do some replace operations. So as I was showing you that uh, the the content or the output which we get is not a well formatted JSON. So when once we try to use it, like we'll get a uh, not a well formed JSON error. So we have to just replace the special this escape backslash uh, with the double backslash so that it can act as a escape character this double quotes with backslash double quote so that it can be validated with a well formatted string uh, json rather than uh, not a well formatted json so i'll just copy this entire one again i'll paste that to description so, so that you can directly use it and we'll just go back to our body and i'll paste it over here and hover on the expression you will see like it's replacing the property of json body pass json to action which is nothing but the previous step the output of previous step this is pass json and then replacing the all other the double quotes with a backslash double quote backslash with a double backslash so, so that we can get a well formed uh, output of out of it and when we save it and try to run it we'll just see so it ran successfully. If I directly go to parse JSON to action output, then you will see that I have this actions, which is actually a meaningful, well formatted string for me. But while uh, passing that to my string action or script, you can see the verbs and everything is well format, formatted JSON with the double quotes replaced with backslash double quotes so that it can be read as a valid dictionary. So everything is in place. And if I scroll down, uh, I would see a success result output of my body. And if I go to my destination uh, environment or site, I should refresh when, when I refresh it. I should start seeing that new list, finance list, which we just created, finance underscore list. This is the name which renamed while importing. And if I go to the settings, I should see all the columns which I have in my source site as well into the destination environment so we got it done like we automated the import and export of this uh, list so it is a uh, actually a scenario where like if you wish to move multiple list and creation of all the columns 20 30 50 columns is a cumbersome process then as a power user you can very well ha take help of power automate to do this automation for you and if you are a I mean citizen developer then of course you have multiple ways of uh, moving the uh, list like PNP schemas there you can use the PNP partial scripting to move the list across but this is for basically this this uh, solution is for those users who are familiar with the flow and they can work with the flow with some of some sort of uh, scripting knowledge so whatever import or export script endpoint you need I have already listed so it's very simple to create a import and export uh, power automate for you so if you find any difficulties further then i would be happy to help so that's it for today's video and that is the end of the series of migration the sp content to a new sharepoint talent altogether so thank you